Twin Cities Adventures here with our Minnesota Chickens playlist. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about a fly trap. Now this is different from the last one I made in our other video. I just saw this ad online and I thought I'd give it a try. Let's take a closer look at it. Okay, I just hung this about literally two minutes ago and there's already a handful of flies swarming it. This is a very inexpensive trap. You actually trap the flies in this little trap here. They don't soak or drown in any kind of liquid, so there's no smelly cleanup. You just have to tip it upside down and like shake them out. And there is a bait cup on the bottom here. You could fill that with chicken poo or sardines or anything. I just happen to have a couple of packets of leftover bait from the last fly trap. And I will add a link on the bottom of the screen where you can get these fly traps and the bait for it if you choose to buy the bait or you can make your own but after two minutes this is absolutely amazing how many flies are swarming around this and they get stuck up the funnel and they can't get out because they're just too dumb so we'll take a close look at that and then I'll come back a little later and I'll show you how many flies are caught in there but already the flies used to be swarming on the bottom of the mulch here by our chickens. They're in their outdoor chicken run right now. So we have a two foot tall fence around the perimeter of their outdoor chicken run and they never hop over it. And this is all their edible organic garden right here. Here's Samuel over here with one of our chickens. Let's take a look at this little chicken, my little chicken. So we don't want the flies bugging the chickens. They're over there hunting right now. We want the flies all in the trap. So let's take a look at the one that I just hung just about 30 seconds ago inside the chicken run then. So here is the hen house. And you can see a video of how we built the hen house and the chicken run in our playlist. And then let's see, let's go around here. And right inside here is this fly trap. Now I just hung it on this hook temporarily. Okay, now I'm back about 10 minutes later and look at how many flies are in this trap already. They have nowhere to go. Some of them fall in that little bucket there and drown and that's their deal. But um, the rest of them are all hanging out in here. That's so many. Now let's go look over here in the chicken run and look at this other one that I hung. Okay, so in the chicken run, I have a fan that's on and it's on a timer. So during the day, the fan is on and this just, will just shine that right. Sort of towards their like little area here around the food in the main area. So they can't get too many bugs bugging them there. But over here, We've got our other trap that's been here for, I don't know, 10 minutes or so, maybe 20. And look at how many flies are already in this one. They're just swarming in there. So already this, I got my money's worth out of this. We'll come back and we'll check on this again. Okay, now we came back a couple hours later and look at all of those flies in there. Boy, this just is a miracle trap. Look at them all. They're all freaking out now because we're close by. And let's go check out the one in the chicken run real quick. That is... Looky there gobs and gobs of them. Boy, this trap sure does work. Okay, now here we are the very next day. Check out how many flies are in there. And they're starting to just die and stack up around the edges. That is one successful fly trap. 
Okay, let's go check out the one in the chicken run next. Here we are. Look at all of those flies in there. I'll probably fill the water up a little bit in the bait trap because it's getting a little bit low, a little evaporation, but check out all the flies in here. Okay, so now when this fills up, all you have to do is unhook that little hook thing there and then you just shake them out you have to remove the bait cup first that's easy and you just shake them out into the trash or you could probably shake them out and feed them to your chickens okay and here's after a good week or so a little over a week it's filled up like three inches high with dead flies the canister in there that thing uh dried out a while ago so you do have to fill those up every so often and I just put water in there I don't put anything new in there so that has been a great success so when it comes time to empty them, you just take this off the hook here and then you take the hook off there and then that little funnel goes down you obviously remove the little bucket and then you just shake them all out into the garbage can or shake them out on the ground let your chickens eat them let's see if they like that just slide the bucket out, just like through the side here, just like that. That's just got dried up dead flies in it. And now you need to take the hook off that, which is super easy, and then take the hook off that, and then we'll shake that out for the chickens. We'll see if they want to eat them. All right, I'm just gonna shake them all out. Who wants a treat? Okay, so far I've tried many things over the years. This is the best because you can empty this out and it doesn't stink really. So I highly recommend it. There's a link below the video that you can click on if you're interested in purchasing these. So thanks for watching Twin Cities Adventures out.